Welcome back to round round of this first season of the Short Track Stampede, where we'll be running heat two of the kickoff at the Motodrome. The Motopone Dream, the Empire Motodrome in New York City. A uh, half mile, high banks, very fast oval in the football stadium. Interesting concept. Now, before we get to the heat, we'll take another quick look at the qualifying results. Now, hit one, of course, has already been run. Run, I mean. If you want to check the, that out, well, you have to watch the video or check out the results. It will be up by then if I get around to it. We'll see. So anyways, here's our top 23 in a bit. I will scroll down and see the rest. Now, of course, hit two, even numbered. Results for the qualifying will be in this heat, so this heat's top five will be Manny Royceston, John Tudor, Rastus Pedersen, David Tully, and Arlen D'Angelo. I'll take a big scroll down here. See those results there? And voila! We are here at the track. Let's get set up. Drive, driver. Uh, we have, of course, those top five we said. Royce, Seston, Tudor, Pedersen, Tully, and Angelo, along Simon and Henry Cordell. Then we have the nine of Everett Nash, George Mole. Sebastian Radcliffe and Iori Ratanabe rounds out the top and pace car peels into the pits. He's in a different camera this time. A bit far out from the start, but we'll at least get a better angle of it. And Pace Car reappears from the pits and Green is out. We are underway. Clean a start than last time. Rosson takes an early lead, but of course, Judo fast around that outside line. And Tally tucks him right behind. This could be a very... Quick 1-2 for the Judo International crew if they can find an array around the 17. But they don't seem to be able to do so at this stage. Of course, second and third is still alright. These are only the qualifying heats after all. No points, you just want to get through to the finish. And Judo makes a move to the outside. Or assessing and... Royce Seston tries to fight it, the snows is still ahead, but that outside line is just fast. So he's holding it there. Now Nope, he sort of runs out of momentum coming out for. And John Shudor slips around to take the lead. Now, is that Tully making a move? No, he slots back in behind, though. If he gets the run, he might be able to try challenge, but nah. Royce is pulling away now. Mm. Not sure if a catch up, but he should be set to second. Barring anything weird happening. Possible. Pedersen gets forced to claw. Dill makes the lunge to fifth. Morrill's a bit slow on the side, so. But Angelo got a bit hung out to dry at the start. He's fallen back to seven, which is still fine. You needed top eight. Gets you through the final. Everything else, you have to go through the last shot of it. So as long as you're in that top 8, you're still fine. They'll still be 15th, 16th, 14th. You can do this. So that's still not a bad only result of form. Of course, you're on the outside, which will help. And now your top few. Yeah, Chew's put out a big lead now. Royce sets and left angle just a second. At least kind of staying with him, but... Doesn't look like he'll be mounting any sort of challenge just yet. Way back there is Pedersen. Doesn't seem to have the pace to progress. He's holding up the field quite a bit here. Cordell, Ratanabe, D'Angelo. Quite a few more cars. I got bloody lost there. Yeah, Ratanabe, D'Angelo, Adelie. 
Oh, a nice group there. Now, it looks like we have an interesting battle going on around here. That's Odin Sullivan in the number one. Jerry being held up to right. He gets passed by Cliff Woodyard. And Felix Kaiden also gets by in that interesting Chevrolet badge Pontiac. I'm an odd choice to make that, but you do you. And then it's mostly a single time there. It looks like there's a bit of two wide for last place. Between Bush and Radcliffe, but looks like they've sorted themselves out, at least for a little bit. Up the field though, more. This is a bit of a Oh, we have, do have some two wide here. That's Watanabe on the inside of Cordell, but. Can't make much of it, and D'Angelo will get by. Probably Adderley and Moore will try and follow as well. Oh, I don't know, but he did slide a bit wide there. He'd... Well, at least it looks like he was going to. He had to really pull the thing up and lost all sorts of momentum, and now even Nash is trying to go alongside him. He's gonna. That's cost Watanabe a lot. That's cost him a free shot. Into the final straight away. That'll be annoying. Back in front, Tudor still has a big lead over Bruce and even Tully's fallen back as well, and that's still an absolutely massive gap, actually. That's a straight links gap between the top three and then Edison. He just hasn't been able to hold the pace at all, but no one seems to be able to get by him, either. Which I suppose is fine with him. Still a decent amount of racing to go this weekend. Well, on eight, I fighting again. Throwing it up the inside of Moral, but he can't make it work, and now Nash is going around the outside, and so is Alex Catalan in 58. May even Danny Gonzalez as if he can't get the thing back up high in time. Yeah, and that's gonna be the case, and Kai Fleetwood will some pity the action as well. Yeah, not good, not good at all. That's Watanabe. Just about sits behind his team on all. And well Fleetwood dives to the inside of Gonzalez as well. It won't quite be free to drive, but that's aggressive from the Mikado driver. Though he can't make it done, and now that's Mike Vintas Jr. going around the outside, and then Woodyard going for a move here as well. Yeah. No, that inside line is killer. You just can't hold the speed at all, and everyone goes by you if you can't get off it. Not where you want to be at all. So, Moral actually has fought his way up to six, that's not bad. Can't grindle on that too long. As we head back to the front, looking at John Tudor, and he takes the win of Heat 2 here at the Empire Motor Drone. Rosteston follows him, and Tully rounds out the top three. Pedersen holds on to four. Actually ran away from the rest of the field behind as well. Bordell gets fifth. Ahead of Moral D'Angelo and that is Benra Adderley. Who will be the final qualifier for the final. The rest will have to go to the last shot. That'll be from Edward Nash and below. Of course, let's take another quick look here at the Official standings. So let's retire for Tudor, which is kind of. Well, that's a timing error, I'm afraid. We can just ignore that. That's a easy win for here. And then this top nine I mentioned a bit earlier, and Alex Catalan rounds out the top ten. No DNF this time round, but that's been good, nice and clean. No one's found themselves in the pit entry wall yet. Or exit wolf for that matter, which is always a good thing. And 
I suppose that's that. That ends the racing's proceedings for now. We will return later for the last shot oh, race. That is 75 laps. 32 drivers, the top 24. We'll proceed on to the final and the last eight finishes. The weekend will be done. See you then.